Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. And we're going to take a look at the Techno Babylon. It's a point click style adventure, uh, cyberpunk adventure. Uh, it's available on uh, a number of different uh, online retailers. Uh, the version I'm playing is uh, purchased through GOG. So let's take a look. There's not much for options. Um, let's go ahead and just give us a little bit more gamma. Uh, text float, I have no idea what that is, but let's turn it on. And let's get started. You're sure this is the one? I'm positive. Mata Sesame. Go find Mandala in the trance. There's a big gap in the records, and it's shaped exactly like her. I thought you said he put a lot of effort into it. They've been hiding her activity, but weren't covering up their own work very well. If they did, then I... Ah! How are the headaches? Won't be a problem for much longer. You understand the plan? Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. After all, I've been planning this for years. One, prisoner of conscience. Yes. There's nothing like being in trance. A world built of abstracts and intellect. Of tangible thought, where every part has been crafted by an individual soul. It's the purest form of contact a person can have, mind to mind. It's the pinnacle of human achievement. Some might say that achievement in the physical world is somehow more meaningful. To them I say, join the future or be surpassed by it. Within the trance, we are millions of minds as one. But even as far as we've come, there's still one serious flaw. It's reliance on the real world as its backbone. And disconnections. Damn. Don't panic. I'll just go and speak to the building manager. It's not like there's anything to be afraid of out there. Let's get this over with. Let's see, open very open inventory. Move mouse to the bottom right corner. Select trance to disconnect. Better go and talk to the building manager. Ah! Ouch. Huh? Password error, huh? I guess the door's broken too. Contact manager. I'm trapped? For the first time that you can remember, the prospect of staying inside your apartment is frightening to you. Let's see, left click interact, right click look at. One of the lockers, where I keep a few things I've got in meat space. Nothing in here. I usually keep clothes in here. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. Nothing in here. It's full of blue overalls, the kind provided by the city to the unemployed. Made out of cotton paper blend, they are mostly recycled into new clothing rather than cleaned. Ugh, exposed fiber optics everywhere. I think they deliberately do this to make it less pleasant to live here. Ten 
Tenancy Rules, City Housing Support. This housing is provided as is by the City Department of Social Welfare until such time as you are able to secure employment. Basic facilities are provided within. Since your stay is temporary, please do not damage. Temporary? Huh. I've been here for two years now. The gaping black chute dominating the food machine's top half is where used trays and cutlery are deposited for recycling. The materials are melted down and vacuum formed into new utensils every time you order a meal. Some places use metal utensils, but down here in the poor blocks, it's all just plastic. The apartment's food machine, which pipes your infrequent meals straight into your home, is a semi-solid form. Your machine's been broken for a while, but you haven't noticed. You've been too busy trancing. The Net Games trophy I won in 84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skanto apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. I'm not sure when I got this out of the machine. It's still soggy, though. The shower curtain glows an eerie yet somehow soothing blue. Your project must have finished its final stages. It may take up the entire bathroom, but the still is totally worth it. By growing my own wetware at home, I'll never need to leave the apartment again, unless something like this happens. You remove the gelatinous clump of semi-organic wetware you've been cultivating in the still. It looks like it's grown enough to be usable by now. Pick up all this mm -hmm. crap. Nah, I'm not that hungry. Ugh, no. Last time I reached into the pile, there was stuff growing in it. Breaking your arm into the recycling slot can only end in tears. Let's see, menu, select protein surprise, E168 nutrient complex, sucro gelatin complex, utensil recycling, 3D print, plastic is full, no metal, eject memory cartridge. tray obligingly pops from the machine serving slot completely empty the pipes must be blocked again hey i'm hungry large strain in the floor means that cleaning the room can involve as little as hosing everything down. Uh, cheap is the way it's done here. <laughs> Guess I'm not as strong as I thought. I'm not getting out this way. The way out. Still standing in my way. Normally staying in the apartment would be ideal, but now that I have no choice about it. The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system, and thermostat, as well as the door's locking. If you could get inside it, you might be able to set off an emergency unlock. Okay. Hmm. It broke. 
The flimsy plastic that the fork was made of wasn't up to the test of freezing the channel from the wall. With better quality tools, though. I don't think it needs a small tin pot. It isn't compatible with a memory module. Okay, well. The trophy won't help get inside the panel. The tray won't help get inside the panel. Okay. Ah, am I already going to get stuck? Error. Use of safety settings enabled. Unable to produce metal utensils due to danger of harm. Please consult your automobile's AI for further information. Thank you for your, for your cooperation. THE Foods, your future on a plate. Hey, we're not children! Lousy suicide rate. Error. Insufficient material. All of your utensils are 100% recycled. Please return your tray or add other compatible materials to the machine to enable to print new, a new batch. Tray of blood pops from the machine's third slot completely empty. The pipes must be broken again. Hey, I'm hungry. Imagine now I got a plastic. Physical memory module containing the recipes that the food machine uses to make its much marginally less appealing. It's mulch marginally less appealing. A recyclable plastic tray. The food machine prints out a new one from old materials with every meal. The Net Games trophy I won, and I don't know why. It's a homegrown lump of techno organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. This will open an individual's mind to the trance, and load their Mind Machine Interfaces hub. Alright, I wonder if I stick this stuff in there. The machine thinks for a moment, then displays a message. Error, user safety settings enabled. Unable to reduce metal utensils to the danger. Uh -huh. Hey, we're not children! How's the suicide rate? But I should have metal now. Hey, how's he? Oh, I didn't take it. Keep randomly cutting cables. I'm going to end up electrocuted eventually. The window frame is welded in. Even if I could open it, it'd be a 150 meter drop to the bottom. The still is empty. It'll take at least a few hours to grow another batch of wetware. I don't think I can open it by myself. Ah, I should know better on all these point clicks. They never make any sense.
The wetware won't form a connection with it. The Department's centralized systems speak to you more clearly than ever as your wetware joins its systems. Still not working. Apparently I can't just wait for the problem to fix itself. Can't rely on anyone else. shall dare intrude upon thy domain while I stand watch. Do you have a name? I do not wish to trouble my lady with such minute details. So, just night then. Whatever thy will, my lady. What's your function? I am the defender. I prevent intrusions upon thy fortress. The physical and the etheric. I found you in the door's terminal software. You're the apartment's network security, aren't you? Quite so. Trojans and malware flee from my presence. But you also control the door's security. A vital role, milady. None shall threaten the sanctity of your domain. Tell me about yourself. Sentinel Systems Nightmare. A data and physical security product of Sentinel Systems, version 3.02. Licensed to City of Newton Housing Services. What's with the knight in shining armor, Ritiki? Who is better suited to the role than a loyal defender of the realm? Okay, now tell me properly. My lady, thine own... Out of character! Following managerial reformation of Sentinel Systems, the company's theme was shifted to a feudal design. The door seems to be stuck. Can you do anything about that? Attempting to operate door drive systems! Attempt two! Attempt three! It would appear the machinery of the door itself has become fatigued. The terminus is unable to compel activity on the door's path itself. The safety unlock would doubtless serve you well at this juncture. Can you use the safety unlock? I'm afraid I cannot. It must be unlatched physically. So where is it? It lies behind the terminal. With sufficient armament, mayhaps thou shalt reach it. Gee, thanks. Anyone ever told you that you get real tiresome real quick? Customer research has shown the night image to be effective. 89% of customers associated with increased security and ability to solve threats. 67% associated with defense of a home in a professional manner. 55% found it more confidence inspiring than Sentinel's previous mascot. Which was? The Sheriff. Following last year's New York police riots, public perception of such personnel diminished considerably. Ciao. Fare thee well, my lady. Huh, well, I probably should have saved, uh, <laughs> before I broke my fork. But we'll see if I have to start it over again. I don't know if it's one of those kind of games or not.
Mailbox from City of Newton received 10 July 2087. Subject, circumstances. Dear Miss Sesame, this message is to remind you that you have not been attending your scheduled employment meetings. If you do not inform us of absences, you risk losing housing support from the city. You have been receiving city support benefit for 711 days, and we hope that you will be able to improve your circumstances soon. From Lieutenant Colonel O'Shea, received 9 July 27, subject of proposal. Dear Sir Miss, my name is Marcus Osher. I am the Chief Financer for the Oklahoma General Martin Carter. His recent death at the hands of a rival warlord has left me with 150,000 quanta of his finance. If you will allow me to transfer to your bank accounts, I can offer to share. <laughs> From Root T, received 9 July 2087. Subject, let's meet up. Hey, Della. Seems like we haven't seen you in years. No idea if you heard, but there's a big game coming up at the Rotunda. If you're up for leaving your apartment, we can probably get you a place on the team. XOXO T. Okay. From Excess Pharma, received 9 July 2087. Subject, amazing deals on Kim. Do you want the extra interface speed without the extra cost extra speed with extra farm open attach image for ordering info right from toxic sigma received 4 july 2087 uh, subject grow guide yo dala good good hearing from you though good hearing from you though i know really it means you want something basically yes the batch of blue wetware you got this you got is cracked so you can grow it yourself just don't gray goo your place it needs a few things one water since that what makes up 99 percent of it two nutrition it's an organism after all three heat in the normal stuff it cause it to break down but this blend is activated is activated instead Error. Unable to connect to Mandala mail host inbox. Check connections and try again. If problem persists, contact the engineer for hardware errors or a medical professional for, professional for wetware system support. That's the news. No connection found. Unable to access Chishiki server. Please check your network and try again. If problem persists, contact your network administrator. Error 125-H. No connection. Thursday, 10 July 2087. Okay, I can't connect to sports or weather. That makes sense. No connections at all. No past history. state so I still have the same problem I still can't get in here <laughs> I don't know if you bash it open it can help you get in there
back in here. Kenny's here. Oh. You can flow through data as your wetware system. Just itself into the food machine system. And what the hell? Is that really a thing? I don't know. Hi, I'm Chefy. You're. We already had this bit. I'm the voice of your food machine. I'm here to help you make the most of your machine and all the delicious possibilities. And if there's trouble, I'm here to help you out. What kind of things can you make? Using TH Games patented and proven protein fiber synthesis reserve system, I'm able to whip up some of the tastiest treats you've ever had. Like? Just you wait. Before you know it, you'll be having the most cost-effective food you've ever tasted. You're dodging the question. My recipe books are always getting bigger. My best friends at TH Games always come up with great new ideas. Everything from protein surprise to nutrient blood casserole. Ugh. Don't be like that. Give them a try. I've had to live off your crap for two years now. It's bland, and it feels like runny puke. I have trouble swallowing, and every mouthful makes starvation that little bit more appealing. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you tried any of our new recipes recently? Let's look for some. Let's see. It looks like I can't connect. Don't worry. You can always use the memory cards in the machine to upload delicious new recipes. How do I get trays and cutlery? Haven't you been eating with us for years? Humor me. The HE's food machines have self-contained vacuum formers to recycle utensils. Just put your tray back in the machine when you're done with it. Why can't I put metal in the recycler? It might be dangerous! At the request of Newton Civic Housing Services, you've been limited to plastic utensils. But isn't plastic great? It's so easy to get clean. But what if I want something stronger? Like steel. That heavy protein mash bends the fork sometimes. Sorry, mm -mm, no can do. I'm not just a chef. It's my job to keep you safe. How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork. Why would you want to do that? Don't you like me? I just want to make sure you're eating right. So you object to me smashing you open? It takes some pretty serious damage to do that. I'm tough. Only qualified THE systems technicians can get me open. Looks like messing with your software is my best bet then. Will the machine work without you? If I have an accident, the machine will continue to dispense. We don't want you starving in an emergency now, do we? What's on your recipe card now? On the menu today, we've got Protein Complex A11, Protein Complex E168, and for dessert, mm, Sucrose Gelatin Complex C11. Sounds delicious. If you want something a little different, don't forget, you can always download new recipes for me to take a look at. You're really, really annoying, you know that? Address all concerns regarding T H E Avatar two eight six two Chefy to T H E customer interactive regions. Ciao. Bye. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not storing that in my brain. Not unless I want to wake up in some factory in China in ten years. 
A battle disguise virus package designed to tr trick the gullible into opening it. It might steal info, force you into a botnet, or just wreak systems or wreck systems for the hell of it. Normally, you wouldn't even have come close to downloading it. Well, can I? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shetty, your interactive guide to THD Pirate Auto Meal Sweets. Ciao. No. Uh, okay, I need to put it here. that. Copy the virus under the card. Copied speed boost image exe to mem external. Exit. Let's insert our card. You load the memory module into the machine. After a few moments, it begins to glow, indicating a successful connection. Okay. Let's see how successful that was. What's on your recipe card now? I see there's some new recipe data. It looks like... Apparently whatever virus was writing that T-mail is doing some damage. You don't look so good. Sounds more like you need someone to put you out of your misery. Hey, we're not children. How's he? Stop you stopping me. Uh, yeah. How about I stop you stopping me stopping you? Then I guess I'd have to stop you stopping me stopping you stopping me? No, no, no. You're safe. Why can't I put metal in the recycling? Not while I'm a boss. <laughs> Will 
Will the machine work without you? Uh, what? That doesn't really answer my question. You don't look so good. That's nice. What about your... Yes? You're really, really annoying. You know that? What? Your mama! How do I get trays and cutlery? Uh, yes? And the trays? Trays! <laughs> I don't like your food. I like your trays! Why can't I... Not one! <laughs> How would I... Uh, yeah. And I... Uh, Will the... Don't you... Uh, that doesn't... Don't... You're really... This is so what? Your mom... Ciao. Okay. Is it all fucked up still? Hey, what? How's he? Next time somebody says these puzzles are completely logical, uh, I'm going to have a talk with them. <laughs> I don't know how anybody thinks that the solution to this is completely logical. How would you even make this conclusion? Forsooth, who would summon the guardian of thine abode? I think Sheffy the chef's come down with something. The steward harbors a blight? Zounds! This shall not be allowed to continue! Foul Harbinger! I am the- There are grave accusations of treason upon your head, steward! Stand and face me! We shall see what trial by combat makes of you! I'm sorry, I don't crave to- Have at thee! Well, that takes care of her. Okay, can I put the metal in here now? of mechanical protest, the machine eventually gives in. Metal tray, metal fork. Okay. Take our memory card back. I think. I don't know. Why not? Let's take our metal fork and use it on the panel. Ten, Suicide City. Twenty hours earlier.
This is it. Animus Organics. You think Central's right on this one? I still don't think an AI, however powerful, could predict a crime like this. However, if it does help us catch the Mindjacker... Central hasn't exactly been generous with the details. I don't really think we're gonna find anything here. There are other, stronger leads we ought to be chasing. Oh, do I have control? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm him, huh? Hey! Anyone there? Doesn't look like anyone's around. Hey, loud. Yeah? I've lost count of the number of times the Mindjackers struck. In Newton or globally? Oh, just a figure of speech. He's been on the rampage for too long, but now he's in our territory. Should give us the advantage. At least we've managed to link the previous mindjackings to one suspect. It's the M.O. Historically, mindjackers have used some kind of external gear. They use another system to extract before storing it in their own neural tissue. So they'd need a terminal. Which is usually how we catch them. It's conspicuous. But are mindjackers not behaving the same way? No. His tools appear to be built into his own bodily wetware system. Some kind of resonance imager in his body, maybe. Whatever it is. It's less invasive as well. Exactly. His victims suffer massive hemorrhages, but no external injuries. State of the art, but a dead giveaway. Do we have any ideas about our perp? The fact that he's stealing data straight from living neural wiring is disturbing, but it tells us a couple of important things. Oh? Well, previously caught mindjackers have usually burnt out after one or two attacks. Sharing a whole other's brain worth of data is pretty taxing. So we're looking for someone with a really specialized wetware set up in their heads. Pity that won't tell us what they look like. The other problem is how slippery this guy is. Only fragments of appearances on camera, no clear witnesses. Which means he's either a master of disguise... Or there's some pretty high up collusion to hide him. That wouldn't surprise me if he were a business hire. Still, after this many hits, he may start to slip. Even if it's just his psyche breaking. So... Central predicted our mindjacker was going to strike here. You don't trust it? I just don't understand how it came to that conclusion. Obviously, we're doing our jobs right. We collect data, which Central interprets. Based on that data, it maps a pattern. But why isn't it a pattern that we could see? It's not only us. Central's got all of the city, the whole net to draw on. But it won't tell us how it's come to the conclusion where the mindjacker will strike. Does it think we can't understand? Is it concealing something? Just be glad we've got an advantage like Central. I still don't like it. You don't like that Central's predicted this, do you? It's not how investigations are supposed to be done. Admit it. You're afraid your job's going to be stolen by machines. Kind of like weavers, factory workers, authors. Just how old do you think I am? No, don't answer that. I just don't like having that key bit of information kept from me. You need to learn to work with Central. It's not our enemy. It works for us, as we work for it. Animus Organics. That's what the sign says. They're one of the city's largest computational biotech firms. What do they make? Wetware, mostly. Wouldn't be grown here, probably in Eurofed. This place is just the offices? Regional headquarters, Central tells me. Do we know why it predicts the next attack will take place here? It won't share that with us. Need to know. A high-tech firm like this must have secrets worth something to a mindjacker. Wetware, huh? Yeah. Specifically for forming neural connections between systems. The blue stuff. The nanomachines keeping the modern world running. It's funny. When I think nanomachine, I picture tiny gears and turbines. When really, they're just bits of proteins and macromolecules. They still perform all kinds of mechanical tasks. Just smaller. I guess I'm technically more of an expert in them than you are. I used to make them for a living. Yeah, but you wouldn't know what to do with them anymore. Organic computing, that's my field. Let me know if you find anything. we Will do, Regis. An expensive looking car sits on the road. If you were in a worse mood, you might be inclined to ticket it. Company's front desk. In a big firm like this, you'd expect it to be manned 24 seven, but the staff had disappeared. Your colleague, Dr. Max Lau. Probably the only other case officer who can put up with your method of work. A technical jack-of-all-trades and almost 
as unconventional as yourself when it comes to investigation. You'd be reluctant to say friend, as that would suggest a degree of emotional openness you're still unprepared to allow to anyone. The elevator appears to be only the only route to the higher floors. Security must be concerned here. Oh, security must be a concern here. Oops. here. No, no, let's go. The elevator is locked. Panel says authorized personnel only. I guess we need to find someone who counts as authorized then. Jolt gun traveler, what's this? The cell issue traveler, like the civilian models in many ways, capable of making calls and running the apps. Specialized model carried by cell possesses more powerful sensors and encryption. The traveler's sonograph is picking up very little ambient activity in the building. Jolt gun, an electric shop weapon with an output of between 2 and 8 million volts. This tool uses an ultraviolet laser to ionize a channel of air, allowing electrical charge to pass from the device to its target. While intended as a compliance tool rather than a lethal weapon, care must be taken in its use to prevent accidental fatalities. That's all I got. Let's see, my contacts are allow, central, and none. What's on the news here? Uh, you're afraid adopt the metric time. Uh, continuing a long-extended process of standardization, the Parliament of the European Federation, the EF, has today ratified the uptake of metric time across the 64-member union. The measure, signed into law by EF Prime Minister Jacqueline Santani at uh, 06.52.80, p.m., is planned to be rolled out over the course of the next four years. Under the scheme, Measure of time of day is divided into 10 hours, each with 100 minutes and up made up of 100 seconds. Santini, whose Federalist Party have been one of the keenest supporters of the new policy, greeted the change enthusiastically. Computing and commercial time measurement has long been carried out in a uh, metric scale with atomic timing, and the division into 24 hours has itself merely been an arbitrary convention of history. While commonly referred to as metric time, the measurement of day into periods of 10 should be more accurately known as decimal time. Internationally, the EF's policy has gained little traction, if not outright criticism, with some leaders condemning the changes as unnatural. The Oceana Cooperative's government was less emotive, issuing a statement that the change was one demanded by the European voter, which we'll respect as a democratic institution. They made clear that the OC has no plans to adopt any similar measures. Okay, sports, latest scores, Gabadi, Newton, 55, 37, UAE, match in progress. Weather, city of Newton, current dry, currently dry with light outbreaks of rain expected later this evening. Temperature, 12 degrees C. Uh, UV index midday, 7 to 8. Use SPF 30 plus and wear protective clothing. Shiki says, a day and night for staying indoors. Okay, well, let's make a call. Call Central. This is Regis. Come in, Central. Central, standing by. Status report, Central. All operations within centralized emergency logistics nominal. Anti-civil activity index within tolerance at 0 0.004. Weather forecast, dry, highs of 12 Celsius, UV index of 8. Uh, less general. Updates on the case? Okay, data, Dr. Regis. Okay, thanks. You don't usually make predictions on high-level cases like this, Central. What's different about this one? Limited progress was being made through conventional investigation. To expedite the investigation, I was tasked to provide more direct oversight. Hey, are you saying we can't do our jobs right by ourselves? I am a civic coordination AI, Dr. Regis, with a responsibility for 9.4 million inhabitants. Lander of colleagues who produce no gains for the city. Oh, yeah. A fact which, on occasion, I would hope you would pay more attention to. 
What made you think the Mindjacker was going to strike here? The professionalism of the attack suggests that these are not merely random targets. Though the reasoning behind the attacks remains vague, patterns formed from previous incidents. The probability of tonight's attack was sufficient that it warranted investigation. Obviously, you're using data gathered by myself and Dr. Lau. But since we haven't found a pattern in our work, I guess that you've got more sources than us. Correct. However, that information remains classified. Huh. What a surprise. You remain skeptical, Dr. Regis? It's not how I think of detective work, Central. I don't believe human behavior is something you can just... map. Two centuries of research in probabilistic sociology would disagree. We'll see. What's your take on the case, Central? An individual of unknown origin is prosecuting a global series of attacks. These involve the removal of data from the minds of victims. Invariably, the speed of the process has had a deleterious and fatal effect. Yes, those are the facts. But what's your opinion on the matter? All we have are facts, Dr. Regis. These must be analyzed in order to apprehend those responsible. And that is why AIs would make lousy detectives. Cell retains an investigative corps of specialists such as yourself, Dr. Regis. Your role is in no danger, you can be assured. I never said I thought it was. Though you may not be neurally linked, and I am unable to directly access your mental activity, a lot can be learned about an individual's thoughts by observation. What do we know about Animus Organics? Biotech firm, manufacturer of computational wetware and other biomechanical products. First publicly traded stock in August 2044, currently sitting board members include... Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. Why do we think the Mindjacker is going to strike here? The projection has been based upon previous targets. Using a Markov German distribution map, outlying variables can be... Statistics aren't really my thing, Central. You would have been unsatisfied with... It's beyond your comprehension. I guess you're right. Read us out. Oh. What the hell? This man is the victim of a long drop, but from where? Why? What'd you find? A security card. This man was custodial staff, a janitor. Probably not our Mindjacker's target then. Still, I don't think this was an accident. We need to find out what's going on here. I can't find anything else useful on him. Lau, your opinion? Max, knock that off. Sorry. Well, he was definitely killed by the fall. Thanks. Real helpful. No, I mean he wasn't mindjacked. He doesn't have the same neuropathy associated with it. Hmm. So maybe Central was wrong. There's still a body, though. We need to find out what's going on. A security access card with a holographic patch. Well, well, well. Well, just use this. You're not going to be okay. You're not going to be uh, mad at me, are you? Okay, it's unlocked thanks. floor 26 for us. Must be where its owner was working. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Damn it all. Burns all around the planar nodes in his wetware wiring. Yeah, this is our mindjacking victim. Central was right. The attack was recent, maybe minutes ago. The mindjacker was probably interrupted by the janitor who ended up on the street. There's only one other way out of here, to the roof. We need to get up there before he escapes again. His ID badge says Gerbach, Avery. He's an HR supervisor. If the Mindjacker's in corporate espionage, it's a pretty strange target. Have Central run his data. See if it can flag anything. The terminal is still unlocked, apparently in use at the time of the attack. Let's look at other stuff here first. My phone. Uh, the best phone's projection shows unanswered messages. A plaque identifying ownership of the office. Roy Atwood, HR Operations Manager. This must be the guy who is in charge of this floor. Yeah. 
sales charts. You have no idea whether these charts mean the company's doing well or going bust. Amongst all the economics and business speak, the only word you recognize is wetware. A roof access door. From the keypad, I'd say it looks like it auto locks. This keypad must be to stop people getting up on the roof. It's old fashioned, but effective. Kind of like you. Hey. From Atwood Roy, HR management received. 9 July 2087. Subject, the roof. There's a time and a place for the trance, and it's not up on the roof. Yes, it's private, but it's also extremely dangerous. Therefore, management asked me to keep the roof access locked, unless it's an emergency. FYI, trance cravings do not count as emergencies. Seriously, Avery, you're great at your job, but you need help. From Anima's customer relations received 9 July 2087. Subject, public statements. The management of Animus Organex would like to remind colleagues not to make statements to the press regarding product safety. An investigation into recent high-profile exponential uh, wet work growth, or gray goo, accidents is underway and will be released when completed. Publicity management. From Central received 9 July 2087. Subject, exposure conditions. Uh, to Avery Kerbosh. Uh, please be aware that the that tomorrow's midday UV exposure index is expected to peak at 8. Your genetic background indicates a propensity to melanoma. Please take extra care in order to maintain long-term health. The Newton centralized government advises you to restrict outdoor movement to after sunset, except where vital. From Salman Qutub, received 8 July 2087. Congratulations. Hey man, just wanted to say big rats on the engagement. She's a real swell girl, and I know you guys are going to be so happy together. Catch you after work at the den, Sal. Okay, let's look at the telephone then. Sorry, wrong number. Can he call himself? Let's see. I think I found the office manager's contact. See if he'll help us. Remember, be consistent when you're talking to him. Uh, what? Who is this? Do you have any idea what time it is? Mr. Atwood, my name is Dr. Regis. I'm an investigator for Cell. Uh, what? I mean, <clears throat> what's happened? I just need to ask you a couple of questions about your workplace. Oh, Nuke. You're calling from the office. What's happened? Don't worry. You're not in trouble. We need access to the roof stairwell in your office. Wait. How do I know you're really a cell agent? I can't just give out the code to anyone. This is a serious incident, Mr. Atwood. Time is slipping away, and a serial killer might be as well. What? Really? We need your assistance to bring him in. Wait a sec. Serial killers in the Animus office? Gerbach, this is real unprofessional of you. Huh? Come on, I know you didn't want to work tonight. But there's a reason you're not allowed up on the roof. You almost had me, but pretending to be a cell agent, that's desperate. Damn. Sorry, wrong number. Do I have to reload? Is that can be retarded if I have to do that? Hello, it's Pat. If you want to give me money, I'm busy. If you want to borrow money, go away. And if you don't want to talk about money, don't ever call me again. Jeez.
I know I have some explaining to do. Sorry, wrong number. Hello, this is Philippe. I am away on assignment at the moment for one month. If you wish to leave me a message, you can do so after the beep. Or if you have a story, please contact the news desk directly. Apparently the owner of this cubicle has gone home already. Terminals have been locked with biometric security. Fine. You know what? This door is really starting to get on my nerves. Wow. Don't worry. I think I get where you're coming from. And who says brute force never solves anything? Not me, that's for sure. Come on, we've almost caught up with him. The Mindjacker! Freeze! Cell agents! You're under arrest on suspicion of illegal trafficking of neural data breaking and entering, and homicide. Let's not forget, shooting at cell agents. Lay down your weapon and put your hands above your head. Does that ever work? Sometimes. It was worth a try. Cell doesn't appreciate people shooting at its agents. If you cut it out, maybe we'll put in a good word for you. The only way off this rooftop is down. Either with us, or over the edge. Frankly, the second one's fine by me. What? What? He had lifting gear? He's escaping by aerostat. Central, our mindjacking suspect has fled the scene by air. Interceptors dispatched. Cellcore officers have arrived on scene at Animus. Please return to headquarters for debriefing. Nuke it. We were so close. Cell headquarters. Lau, I. Max. What? Huh? Were you sleeping on duty? Sleep? No, I was trancing. For work, of course. Dr. Lau was submitting her case report. We were so close. Have you found the Aerostat he escaped to? No records have been found of such a vehicle. What? Radar and air traffic records show no Aerostat present at that time. And no communications traffic has been identified regarding the Aerostat. Maybe he deleted them? Covered his tracks? That would require access to an improbable number of systems, including my own. Such an undetected intrusion into central systems is implausible. Are you saying we're lying? It is possible that you were mistaken. Human error. For the moment, you are advised to pursue other lines of inquiry. If you say so. Something's going on here. I spend as little time as I can working on there. That's how I get results. Lau is already settled in at her desk. Might as well let her handle the case report. A number of cables run directly into the building's electrical and data flow systems from Lau's desk. 
Apparently her customized wetwear gear sometimes requires tremendous resources, and she doesn't care how many of the building's technicians complain about her pulling floors open. If something needs to be destroyed for confidentiality reasons, this is where it goes. Anything in here is gone forever. After thoroughly thorough scrutiny by Central, no doubt. One of Central's fisheye cameras. Someone has covered it in tape. The screens run through all of the viable data pertaining to the mindjacker. Okay, centralized emergency logistics. Centralized emergency logistics case file NF 148 287 slash 42. Category, class four information larceny with composite harm to health of individual targets, i.e. mindjacking. Case, officers assigned, Regis Dr. C, primary, Lao Dr. M, secondary. Victims to date, 18, Newton. Uh, unknown global total. Identity of perpetrator, not known. Such Chubbuck appears exceptionally skilled at infiltration and may have inside help from larger sponsor. Action. Case Specialist Regis and Lau are assigned to compile all available data on Mindjacker's activity, including investigation of latest targets for analysis by Central. Viksha and Charlie, May 2066. From null at null node, receive 99 ASDF 999 subject, your legacy. It is very important that you download and activate this package in secure location as soon as possible. Tell no one. Lives depend on it. Dr. V. Santiago, receive 927 subject. Howdy. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Why you hogging Lao so much? The rest of us need a wirehead on cases as well. I can probably guess why you're not letting go of her. Why? But seriously, man, give the rest of us a turn. From VFR Medical, received 9 July 2087. Subject, functional wetware. Dr. Regis, as per our discussion at your last checkup, you have not... You have still not opted for enhanced neuroconnective wetware. While not critical, please remember that your work will be increasingly difficult as support for non-WW systems is phased out. The FR medical support. From Fulcrum Admin, received H July 27, subject fixed cost. Charlie Regis, your monthly payment of Q8100 for the rental of Tier 42 Northwest Balcony has been possessed. Processed. Approval for your continued use granted by E Vargas Centralized ADM. Thank you for your continued contribution to the city's green skyline. Seize from central subject, continued vandalism. Dr. Regis, the optic feed from your office is no longer functional. Based on past examples of your behavior, I believe it is likely to be by your own hand. While you may be object to perceived surveillance, please recall that this is for your safety and for other cell staff. Vanderwild yields subject 823. No, no, no. Dr. Regis, apparently my previous answer wasn't clear. No, I will not help you with your investigation, despite your crude threats. If you continue to make baseless accusations about any supposed ties I am alleged to have with organized crime, you shall be hearing from my lawyers. Why small P, Dr. Petra, why small? Uh, received 8 July 27. Subject, Baxter. Hi, Charlie. I'm afraid it doesn't look good for... Regarding Baxter, Central's approved the parole. Don't take it personally. It's not like they ignored your input, but, well, you're not exactly going to be the most objective person after what he did to you and your wife, are you? What's this attachment? You're da you download the package data to your traveler. You're unsure who this might be. An informant, perhaps? As much as you dislike the cloak and dagger approach they've requested, You'll take any help you can get right now. The data package attached to that message. Whoever sent it wants me to open it in a private place. Hopefully it contains something that'll help us get to the mindjacker, but I'm still suspicious. I trust Max, but I know Central would hear everything in cell headquarters. C 
Santiago and Preston's office. Though you could tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Bulletins. Notices cascade across the board. You dislike the way they need to move all of the time, and believe that it reflects the short attention span people have in the city. It's over here. Let's see. Let's see. Surgical lab. This door leads to cell surgical lab. It seems to be currently occupied. Sabotaging the camera in your own office is one thing, but people might seriously question you if you start vandalizing the ones in the hallways. At the end of this hall, the door leads into the waiting rooms. Persons of interest who don't quite deserve the, the cells are tempor temporarily kept here. Okay, let's go to the elevator then. No, nope, not this way. Welcome Tower. When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. Not even having to glance for a moment, those words are etched into memory deeper than anything else. Vicus Regis, beloved wife, friend to all that lives, 11 August 20, 2034 to 2 January 267. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. Better not move it. It's where it ought to be. I'm not climbing that. It's sickly enough as it is. It took a lot of work to make, but it was worth it. This engineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. Storage locker for your gardening tools. See? No. It's empty. Okay, let's open this then. Here goes nothing. Dr. Regis. Yes. Regis? Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? Take a look at the plaque. Viksha Regis, beloved. Oh, Regis, this is. I'm sorry, Charlie, I didn't know. You wouldn't have. I don't tell anyone about it. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a gen engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work, well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... it was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. She isn't buried up here. She was processed, like anyone else. I see. The tree's special, though. I made it myself, from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. You're right, though. This place is very expensive. Why do you think I live in a pod in the southeast barrel? I didn't know that was where you lived, either. 
I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system, well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you, too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. You coming? I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max, I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? Your stomach clutches as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, but you hadn't remembered them by number. Whoever's calling you has four embryo containers, your own. What about them? They were removed from the El Rassis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November, 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved... Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid... my embryos? You are about to meet with a contact, Gil Vanderwall. In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. One is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. A conflict brews in your mind and in your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for. But as an agent of the law, and as a human being, uh, oh. on the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked so many years to maintain. To save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. I managed to get Gil Vanderwall, the legitimate businessman, to cooperate. Says he has information on the mindjacker. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Rangis, Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Rangis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off the network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barbara's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business-like as ever. Let's go see what this is about.
Uh, why don't we stop it there? I guess we've been playing for a while, wow. Now, uh, this is Autopostrophe, and uh, you have been watching Techno Babylon. This game is, is available on uh, your favorite retailer. Uh, I happen to get mine through uh, GOG. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.